little stiff this morning. I'm trying to see the chiropractor one more time before the weekend comes. Hopefully I'll be almost back to normal. I still have a swelling in my disc. So hopefully one more adjustment, ice and ibuprofen, and uh, I'll be hopefully semi back to normal for the weekend. Well, I missed my chiropractic appointment this morning. This was uh, overslept and uh, by the time I got up, my back was so stiff, I wasn't able to move, so usually when your back goes out, you underestimate the time it takes to get moving, so normally I get up, stretch out, and then I take a hot shower and try to get some uh, mobility before I go to the chiropractor, because if not, you can't, <clears throat> I can't really be adjusted because my back is so tight and also too from the inflammation and the irritation of the swollen disc it's kind of like useless if you go to the chiropractor without warming up because it's very hard and painful to adjust as it is <clears throat> let alone not being warmed up and so needless to say i gotta reschedule my chiropractor appointment i'm gonna try to go back um, around 11 15 but in the meantime i'm gonna get get my head shaved while I'm waiting. At least all that will be out of the way and done. I've been doing it myself for probably about two months, so <laughs> we're going to have it done today. Oh, man. Plus, these <sighs> barbershops have probably been pretty slow. Uh, we'll go visit them, let them know I'm still alive. ladies in here working pretty good. I used to go to the younger barber shops and it took them forever. It took them forever to shave your head. And these, the older ladies, I guess, are used to it. Man, they, they get you in and out there like 15 minutes, so it's a lot more productive. Anyway, I'll be back. Got a little bit of fuzz up here to shave off. Well, <clears throat> got to see the chiropractor and uh, feel a little bit better. Wasn't able to give me a real good adjustment because my back's so tight, so I'll have to see him next week. So hopefully this weekend, all the swelling will go down and uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to adjust it. I've been trying to self-adjust it. Um, I did get a little bit of an adjustment, but uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend, the, uh, the disc in my back won't the swelling will go down. I've been taking uh, two ibuprofen every couple hours of my eat, so like twice a day. And uh, I've got ice on it right now. So the worst time is sitting down and driving. That that that's what really is the worst. So I try not to do this um, as much. I try to minimize the driving. And I never. I sat in the car this morning waiting for the chiropractor. That's the worst thing I ever did because it got it all stoved up again. So now I have to remember not to sit in the car and wait, stand up or stretch out. The worst thing you can do is sit in a car because that disc, when you sit down, it just smashes. You know, when you're sitting, when you're standing up, it's like that. But when you're sitting down, it kind of pinches it, and that's what's causing all the problems. So trying to keep eliminate sitting down. If I do sit down, I try to stretch every uh, like 10 minutes and get out of that position because basically what it's doing is when you're sitting down or when you're standing up, you're like this. So when you when you sit down, it kind of like just, uh, you know, pinches, you know, one way or the other if you sit this way or that way. Because normally your spine's like that. So when you sit down, either, you know, depending on which position you're in, it'll pinch those two points together and it'll push the disc out that way or that way. So mine's, mine's getting pushed out. Like right now, I'm sitting down, so it's like this. It's pushing the disc out that way. And when it's swollen and it's, you know, it's real puffy, then basically it, it's squeezing that inf inflammation, so it's putting more pressure on the nerve. So it, it's not really painful until you get up. And then that 
that disc tries to go back in place and it's so inflamed that it it uh, tries to squeeze back in there and it can't because it's all swollen <sighs> so hopefully you guys never have these back problems because the first time it happened last year really bad I couldn't walk for three days so it's something that uh, and you don't have to do much like you bend over to pick something up or you just move a certain way or you're sitting down and you and you reach down towards your feet that's like the worst thing is sitting down and then stretching because you got that pinch and then you got the stretch so <laughs> I don't know I guess when you get older you just have these problems so I'm trying to figure out ways to eliminate having to do certain things and try to figure out how to strengthen my core and keep the discs from getting inflamed so I think as you get older I had all that working out and all that heavy weight on my doing squats to just smash that disc and smash that disc and smash the disc and so now it's thin and then every time it gets pinched it gets inflamed so it's gonna be probably problems for the rest of my life hopefully not but if anybody has any information out there to help with the smash discs or pinch discs or any way to help get the volume back let me know because at this point uh, I'll, I'll try almost anything because <laughs> when you're in excruciating pain you do anything to alleviate it and you'll do anything not to have it again so I can't be taking ibuprofen and ice and every day the rest of my life because that'll destroy my liver the ice is not so bad but the, I know ibuprofen is not good I don't even take aspirin hardly but I'm I take probably, I don't know, five aspirins a year or maybe five ibuprofens a year. And now I'm taking like five at a time. So, killing my liver. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'm rambling on. I guess the barbershop is closed, so I'm going to have to find another way to kill about an hour before I go back to the chiropractor. So. Barber shop lights broke. So. Let's see. Lights not on. I see cars in the parking lot, but I don't know where they're at. We got a brand new little barber shop light here. find something else to do. Having problems with the ditch witch again. This uh, pump bulb was completely uh, collapsed and for some reason it's pulling air back in the system. So I'm thinking that there's a hole somewhere in the line. Let's pull all that foam in there. So, just kept stalling, trying to get that air out of there. in the tank, sucking the tank in, and then it's collapsing the uh, pump, starving for fuel, there's air in the line or something. 